Tu-160 is the most advanced strategic plane in the world. It has a hit number of records. Here are some of them. It is the largest and the most powerful supersonic airplane in the history of war aviation. It's the heaviest warplane in the world. Its takeoff weight is the biggest amongst all the bombers. But in spite of the size, pilots call it a white swan. It was designed as Tupolev Aerospace Company by the group led by the chief designer, Valentin Bliznuk. He became the head of the project in 1975, and he had conducted it till the test flight started in 1987. All the technical solutions he brought to the project have made the White Swan an outstanding machine. The unique flight and technical performance of the 2160 remains unbeaten. Length 54.1 meters. Wingspan from 55.7 to 35.6 meters, depending on the wing sweep. Height 13.1 meters. Wing area 232 square meters. Empty weight 110 tons. Normal takeoff weight 267 tons. Afterburner power, four engines at 25,000 kilograms per second each. In spite of its huge size, this bird flies very well. A high altitude top speed of 2,230 kilometers per hour. Cruise speed, 917 kilometers per hour. Operational range without refueling, 12,300 kilometers. Mission radius, 6,000 kilometers. Mission endurance, 25 hours. Operating ceiling, 21,000 meters. These are the cold hard facts. Pilots know much more. Mikhail, the commander of a white swan, showed me this machine from the inside. Now, we are on the ground and we are not going to fly anywhere. But it's still loud in here. Tell me, where does all this noise come from? As you see, it's cold outside, but it's comfortable here. Yes, it's warm. It's warm here because the auxiliary power plant is on. Is it kind of a powerful engine? Is it a diesel or a turbine engine? The auxiliary power plant is a gas turbine engine, just like the main engines of the plane. But it's a smaller one. It's about, let's say, this size. It's installed in a special power compartment, and it's connected with all the systems of the plane, including air conditioning. Okay, so it's both a heating device and a power generator. It's an emergency power generator. Two, 160 was designed in a great hurry. Soviet Army needed a high-speed missile-carrying bomber then and there. Like every bird, first it had to learn to fly. People who taught it deserve a special mention. This plane is unique, and its story is extraordinary. The first pilot who took off in one of these was Boris Veremy. They didn't have much time for uh, proper pilot education, so test pilots went to missions together with operational pilots to pass on the experience firsthand. It had never happened before. So the left seat was occupied by a test pilot and the right one. No, vice versa. Here is the commander's seat. The commanders were students. The flight instructor acted as a co-pilot. Frankly speaking, sitting here, I cannot feel the size of the plane. Now I'm in the co-pilot seat, so to say, but I don't see the nose, I don't see the tail. I don't know how far I am from the ground. How could I know all this? You cannot see the nose because the seats are set to the non-combat position. Okay, so when in flight, yes, when in flight, the position of both seats are different. I'll show you soon. And as for the size, you don't have to feel it while you are flying. The plane steers very well. It follows your hand. You can direct it and it goes where you want it to. The size doesn't bother you, but you have to be careful on the ground. Both the pilot and the navigator have to keep their eyes open. Its wingspan is huge. They're from 20 to 55.7 meters. The perfect plane required a perfect steering system. There is no control wheel. The white swan is steered only with a handle. It is equipped with the most reliable K36DM ejection seats. It seems that you are inside an oversized jet fighter. It doesn't feel like a strategic bomber. The only thing that made me feel uncomfortable was the lack of the view. Let's go. 
Would you show me the combat seat position? We call it either the combat or cocked position. Before you move the seats, you must say clear off. Why? Now you will see. Grab this handle. Okay, let me watch first. Here is the switch. Here it is. The seat is in the cock position. And you need this handle just to reduce the load, right? Yes, it's all mechanical. Okay, so I take this, and here we go. Ouch! It almost broke my knees! Okay, here it is. Well, it's good up here. Now I can see everything. Here at the Long Range Air Force Base, they never stop flying. Mikhail's getting ready for takeoff. The 2160 is an advanced plane. It's full of complicated electronic systems. That's why it needs to be treated in a special way. Airfield Maintenance and Supply Service is checking all the systems and loading the machine with nitrogen, oxygen, and fuel. Only after that, the crew come to the airfield. These pilots have spent years learning to fly on different types of planes.